good typists are always in demand. Ever wonder why your keyboard... It's Q-W-E-R-T-Y. QWERTY. The QWERTY layout is the most common keyboard layout in the world. But why? What makes this seemingly illogical layout so special? And does it actually slow you down? So it's 1866, and this guy, Christopher Latham Scholes, he's working as an editor for a newspaper, and he notices a problem. See, when typing quickly on a typewriter, the arms, these things, would get stuck, and the writer had to pry them apart again. So he and his friends got to work. They found the most common letter combinations in the English language, and designed a keyboard layout that keeps those letters as far away as possible. That way, it takes longer to type these combinations, and the arms would get stuck way less often. And in 1873, he sold his invention to the Remington Arms Company. But the first commercial model was not made until 1873. And it was a hit. But hang on a second, we don't use typewriters anymore. So why do we use QWERTY? After all, the keyboard was designed to make us slower when typing. Clearly that wouldn't be the most optimal way of typing, right? Well, the answer's what you would expect, really. When this brand new computer was being invented, it's easier to transfer when you already could type on a QWERTY typewriter, instead of learning a new system. And for that reason, we won't be changing anytime soon. Humans don't like change, and since we've collectively gotten used to this layout, companies have played on this. When launching that brand new keyboard, nobody's gonna relearn an entire new typing method just for this one random product. Once everybody's gotten used to a thing, there's no going back.